We start off by creating a Qt Quick application, name it Switch Base, and choose your kit and go along the project. In our main.qml file, we'll add a text file. So text file can use any HTML tags. So I'll add some of the HTML tags to make the text beautiful and different. So let's uh, change the color and add some of the properties. Let's see, uh, it's quite smaller. Let's add a H1 tag to make it look bigger and make it on the center with the parent, which is the main window. Let's go and change the color of the window to dark gray and also change the default text to white. It looks something like this. So let's create a new QML file and name it second page because it's going to be our second page. It already be um, added to the CMIC list and change the item to page because it's our page. Also import Qt quick controls to activate the page and copy the text chunk from the main file to the second page file and change the word first to second. Also in our main.qml file, let's add a button. Uh, it's also a part of Qt quick controls so we import it. So in button list, uh, name it to next page because it's a button to the next page. Next page and let's make it, the button will be just below the text. So the top of the button will be on the bottom of the text. Also, let's keep the margin 20. Okay, it's all still on the side. So make it on the center. Let's make it on the center with the main window. It is done. The button is still not working. So let's add a stack view. With stack view, what it does is like, it will put, put your page in a stack. So we can always change first page to second or second page to first. So let's add a function. So when we click the button, we can change the position. So it will push our second page when we click the button. So you can switch page now. Also, you want to get back to the second page to the first page. Let's uh, copy this code and paste it to the second page.qml file and change the text to first to second to first in the button so that you can make sure that you're going to the first page again. So when you click the next page, you go to the second page. And when you go to second page, you can click the first page button to go to the first page. Thank you.